I got some neat stuff in the mail today, so I thought it would be fun to throw together a quick video of what I've gotten recently, in no particular order. Starting with some figure arts. I got Kick Hopper, who I bought on a lark because he was cheapish, and I've kind of been getting into Kuga, or Kabuto a little bit. And he's a really great looking figure. I love the green and silver combination, and he poses really well, and he's great. And has lots of metal on him that later figure arts don't have. Raya from Kamen Rider Ryuki, who I don't like the design a whole lot. It's okay. It's not great. Um, but he's one of the characters I've really enjoyed the most in the show so far. Um, Kuga, Dragon Form. The blue is just fantastic. And I really dig all of Kuga's forms. I only have Pegasus and Titan and maybe Rising Ultimate. I don't know if I'll get that one. I don't watch I haven't watched Decade. Um got him a while back, two or three weeks ago. I have not seen this character in the show yet, but it's scorpion themed and he's purple and he's got green eyes, so that's really cool. Sussword. Let's see, what else have I got lately? Um from an anime I've seen like two episodes of, although I've started reading the mangas a little bit. Uh, Himura Kenshin, Revel Tech, and also the Bakosai version, which I haven't opened. I'm actually not super impressed with the Revel Tech figure. Could just be because the last time I played with the Revel Tech, I hadn't yet bought any figure arts. And these are just such great figures, posability wise, much, much, much better than a figure. Tech. Um, what else? Some of the last DCUC figures I've purchased. Legacy, Batman Legacy, Catwoman. Um, despite being from an era of comics I'm not a fan of, I've always thought this costume was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why, but I also think that deco was really cool. Mr. Freeze. Plus it's a decent figure. Got my first movie Batman figures in, since The Dark Knight came out. Prototype suit Batman and Lieutenant Gordon. And what should I find like a week after I got this on clearance at Walmart? But, uh, this, a repaint of Commissioner Gordon. With a nifty exclusive shattered bat signal. Um, I should open that figure. I also have Bane, and I'm going to open this figure too, because I loved this movie. Not quite as good as The Dark Knight, but pretty darn fantastic. And if anybody can get Selina and Alfred for me, that would be awesome. Let's see, what else did I get? I went to, wait, before I do that, more DCUC. Had a buddy hook me up with Asbats, finally from Nightfall and what you may or may not have heard just fall on the floor is the red repaint that is or was or will be available in a two pack one of these days I don't know I stopped following DCUC really months ago because Mattel has just really worked up the line really badly um, but the Nightfall comic well, I haven't read the comics, actually. I'm reading them right now. But the Nightfall story, I read the novelization, was great. And this is a cool design. So, that. And I'm pretty much done with DCUC once I get Alfred and... Or Mattel's DC figures. Once I get Alfred and... And Selina Kyle. A couple weeks ago, I finally found Avengers figures. Got myself Thor. And... Captain America, and I skipped out on the stupid repaint, battle damage repaint of Iron Man, because I've already got too many Iron Man figures from his movies. Um, who else did I get from Avengers? Oh yeah, the greatest character of them all, Loki. Uh, I need to open that one too, I'm really excited about it. Last week I went to Newport Beach for a week vacation, and on the way down I found... After looking for a long time, weeks, Hawkeye, and the Hulk. So now I've got all of these. I really, really, really would like Hasbro to release 
an Agent Coulson and Black Widow figure as well. So we can have the whole team. Okay, enough of Legends. Um, while I was in Newport, I went shopping, because if I'm visiting other places, I like to go toy shopping. And I found the Fall of Cybertron figures. And I haven't compared them to other Transformers, so I don't haven't noticed yet that they're smaller, but everybody says they are, so I believe them. Uh, but Prime in particular, I was thinking it was a decent little figure. I like, kind of like him. Really looking forward to the Ultra Magnus repaint, which will be much better, but except for the price increase, I'm happy with these figures, and Shockwave, of course, looks really cool. Next up, we have more Common Rider stuff. From the Sochaku Henshin line, which came before the SH Figure Arts, Morkuga, with his white growing form and main red mighty form. Um, maybe I'll do a review of these someday. I'm not sure I'm going to keep them. They're pretty primitive compared to Figure Arts, especially the older ones. Or have these really barely poseable figures with pinheads that are not in the lighting. Uh, but the belts and a lot of the armor bits are metal. The set comes with a an extra unposable mannequin so you can pose the armor that he's not currently wearing. Um, I also have <coughs> Ultimate Form along with some Grongi. I don't know which one it is. Interestingly, this set also includes one of each of the weapons in black because, at least according to the Wikipedia article on Kuga, Ultimate Form has access to the powers of all the previous forms, even though he never used them in the show. Kind of nifty graphics, but just a box. Who cares? The cool set, the one that I got these four, is this one that has all three rising forms. Rising, sorry, all four. Rising Mighty, Rising Pegasus, Rising Dragon, and Rising Titan. And a nifty grongy coffin thing, which stores all the pieces. Let's see if we can see it. Focus. Anyway, you can store all the pieces in there, and that's kind of cool. So I might keep that set. I don't know. I'm not sold on it. Or I'm not sure about it. But it was cheap on Wonderake. Um, What else did I get? O's Medals. I got the black set with I don't remember the three things, and memory, the memory memory from the O's double memory, sorry, O's double movie, and the Puto Tira combo, which is my favorite form after Tajador. <clears throat> if I pull out my metal holder, whoop, you can see that with Puto Tira there and the black set there. I am just missing the four medals that came with the O's driver. And now that I think about it, I think I may actually have Gashapon versions on the way. Hmm. Let's see what else have I got lately. How about Fang I got a little dinosaur guy. A little dinosaur memory thing for the double driver, which I actually just sold today. So I'm not really sure why I bought this. Except that it makes cool sounds and Fang Fang Joker is my favorite of Doubles forms. So that's kinda of fun. Um but also, odds are good I won't keep this forever because I don't have the driver anymore. But it makes cool sounds. Because who doesn't want a little electronic dinosaur? That goes. Um, let's see, what else have I got recently? How about... The second to last of the MG figurized model kits I need. Skull, 
who is the coolest looking rider from Double. Um, I just need Cyclone Joker, and then I will have all of them at least once. Well, I took long enough making the other reviews that I got more stuff. Just today I got a Zect Trooper, Shadow Version, and Punch Hopper to go along with Kick Hopper. And I think I mentioned this earlier, for characters I wasn't particularly interested in, being the Hopper figures, um, they are really, really good looking. I really like the silver accents on this one, and the copper accents on this one. They are fantastic looking figures, and they've been a lot of fun to play with, what little I have. Um, I also got my first Forza figure. He actually came with Punch Hopper. I only really got him because he was really cheap, and I wanted to avoid the extra 500 yen fee on Mandarake, and I probably shouldn't have bothered because I have all the Forza module change figures, but oh well. Um, something else that came today. Rebel Tech Ultra Magnus. Uh, what else? My cousin went to San Diego Comic Con like he does every year, and he came back with a Gohan figure for me. And while Gohan is pretty cool, the other Dragon Ball Z figure arc that I have is I'm not liking as much. And that's really strange because it's Trunks. And Trunks comes with a sword, and that should make him cool, but I've had problems getting him to stand up. And of course, right there, he just stood up perfectly. First try, no problems. That's disturbing. But oh well. Um, what else did I get? Another figure art. And another one that I am not as pleased with. I got a Kiba Red. I have not kept up on the show. Um, but it's been really hilarious so far. I've really enjoyed it. But the figure art, I am kind of disappointed with. His hips are really loose in this direction. Which means he has trouble you know, posing sometimes. and He doesn't have any metal feet or ankles, or rather shins. Like That's another thing I really like about... Uh, where'd he go? Kick Hopper. This guy has so much metal. These arm arm bits are metal, which they don't need to be, but they are. These ones on his legs are also metal. Let's see if I can put them in the light. Um, so these are metal. The kneecaps are metal. And now I'm not actually feeling that there's anything on his. Oh, that one's metal. And of course, his feet are metal, like most good figure arts. So he has really, really good balance, and Akiba Red here doesn't. Uh, between the looseness of that ball joint and the fact that there's no metal in his feet, he... I'm having, I'm having trouble posing him. It's kind of disappointing. Um, he looks fantastic, though. He looks really great. And probably because he's kind of armored, that helps hide the joints. In fact, I didn't realize until today that there's a bicep swivel there. I've had this guy for like two weeks. He has a scarf, that's cool, reminds me of Double. Uh, I just paid yesterday for a Kiba Blue, so I'll get her in a few weeks. Went with that sale shipping, so it won't be here soon, but whatever. Um, what else have I gotten recently? Oh, stand set that came with a Kiba Red. A figure art I'm very, very excited about because Kamen Rider Deno is definitely one of my favorite series. It was a lot of fun to watch. I really liked the characters, uh, especially Momotaro's so sword form. It's great to have. Plus, it's got a great effect part for his final attack sword thing. I'm really excited to get around to playing with that guy. Um, I also finally got myself... Axel trial form, and I have the regular Axel form on the way. I've had uh, booster for uh, three or four weeks, 
And it's really fun. It looks really, really great. I should watch the movie he's from one of these days, but uh, I'm really excited to have all three forums because while I don't know that I especially care for the character himself, I think he looks fantastic. And let's see. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These are from the CG series? I don't know. I don't care. They were cheap, and they're a lot of fun. Um, I really, really like that they come with extra weapons. Uh, accessories. Each one of them comes with a little... Uh, a little bunch of extra weapons. This one's one that came with Leonardo. He has a whole other sword. Three... Uh, what was called? Kunai's? I don't know. Another knife thing. Two throwing stars. Donatello came with a couple more throwing stars. Along with his bow staff, he's got a Naginata, and whatever you call this thing. So that's cool. And of course he can store either the bow or the Naginata on his back. Anyway, I just really appreciate that that they have extra accessories. I, I really like toys that come with a lot of accessories. Plus, they were really cheap. He also has two throwing star thingies. Um, Raphael has hook swords along with his sai, and I don't know what this is, but it basically looks like a half sai, and of course a couple throwing things. Michelangelo has his nunchucks, and a, I don't remember what that's called, and four throwing stars. So lots of fun accessories, and they were very inexpensive. Um, these are some of the most, I feel like, best value for what I've paid in a long time. I, I don't feel, or let me rephrase that, figure arts I feel are definitely worth the increased price they have due to the realism of the sculpt and the just superposability. But these were nine bucks. And they come with a bunch of accessories, and they're decently posable. And it's been a while since I've felt like I've gotten a really decent value out of a toy that cheap. So happy to have those. Clear them out of the way. Moving on. I got my first Shapeways order. People on TFW have designed full-on Transformers in this case. And with the 3D printer, they get created. This, when I cut off all the pieces and assemble it, it will be a tiny, itty-bitty little cassette tape-like thing, Ravage type thing that will fit inside of the War for Cybertron sound wave. Um, it's called Perdator. Or, yeah, Perdator. I don't remember who made it. Another one I've got here, in lots of little pieces, is two of a dude called Fremble. Um, obviously, he's meant to be a Frenzy slash Rumble inspired guy. He also fits inside of the War for Cybertron sound wave. Um, these things are super tiny and sadly cost about 10 bucks each to make. Um, but they look like they're fun, and I really dig the idea of the minions that can fit inside of Soundwave. I'm super excited for the upcoming War for Cybertron Soundwave the Voyager size. they will have the data discs. Uh, speaking of minions, I ordered the BTS minions. I have all three sets on order. This is the first one that arrived. Another one is coming from Captured Prey. It will be here next week along with a surprise thing uh, that I will go into then. Oh, I can announce it now. I won their 1,000th order giveaway. Uh, the grand prize. They're sending me a Blu-ray player and Transformers Prime Season 1 set and uh, First Edition Prime. But anyway, these are Savage and Nightfang, who are clearly supposed to be homages to Ravage and Radbat by BTS. They're meant for the Sonicron, which I don't have and I don't care. I just wanted to have some cool cassette tape dudes. Uh, Ratbat looks the coolest, although there's a bit of a little disassembly issue here. That does not hold tight, so his feet don't stay upright. 
But he looks really great, and I should be able to fix that with some super glue. I know a lot of people have not been especially pleased with with uh, Savage. He looks a little goofy, especially if you look at him from up above or from straight on. But I, I like it. I like how they were able to, to bulk it out and make it look a little more imposing. My only real issue with it is these front knees just look a little weird. Um, they look like they're actually supposed to be bent back this way, like these ones are, but they're not. Or if they are, they look weird to me. I guess the ball joints are a little loose. It, it's not the most impressive third-party item I have. <clears throat> but I'm glad to have them. They were not terribly expensive. I have the tremor and frequency set on the way from a guy actually fairly local to me. I expect it to arrive tomorrow. And then I also have the special Chinese exclusive ones, the Chinese workaholics. Uh, those are the ones that are coming from Captured Prey. These I got at TF Source because nobody had all three sets or even two sets in stock. Uh, but anyway, they look cool. Happy to have them. Lots of detail on these guys. And plus, he turns into a cassette tape, which is cool, because I'm an old person. Speaking of third-party figures, this uh, should be the last thing I have to show, and it is hella impressive looking. Cyclops by Mastermind Creations. This is based off of a Hearts of Steel design, and that's really all I know about it. I only have one of their other figures. It's Annihilator, and it's really cool. It comes with a metal chain for his anchor. And I think I knew it was supposed to be metal chain, but I didn't realize just how big and hefty the links are. These are heavy. It's sturdy. I could strangle a goat with this. I don't know why I would do such a thing. I have nothing against goats. But it's a hefty chain. I mean, it's got a cool little semi-transforming anchor. Um, it's got a neat little compartment right here. I'll see if I can keep my hand out of the way. Open up that compartment. And there's supposed to be a way to store the chain in there. Um, I know you can attach it to the top in there. I don't know if you want to do that for storing it away. I actually have not been able to get it to store in there. You've got to wedge it in there just right to get the door to close and I have not yet figured out the magic position. And as I say that, I figured it out. There we go. Like, um, this thing is just covered with rivets and these turrets turn a little bit. Uh, it's just, it's a beautiful slightly purplish silver on a very nice purple. And it's so large that it does not fit in frame. It is as long as my hand and forearm. This is a big, big ship. And of course it costs a lot of money. And so that's a little rough, but I ordered this from CapturedPrey.com and this I believe is the item that I ordered that turned out to be the 1,000th order. And so, yeah, I paid a lot of money for this, but I'm getting a DVD, sorry, a Blu-ray player, a set of Blu-rays, and a couple of first edition Prime toys out of it. So it worked out. I have not even attempted to transform this yet. I know it's pretty frightening the first time. Um, there's another compartment inside the front where this little dude, when he's in his submarine mode, can store. And this is honestly one of the big reasons I bought him. He's tiny. Um, here he is next to a figure art because I don't have any transformers handy. Um, wait, wait, here we go. Here's Dreadwing. Cyberverse Commander Dreadwing. So he's probably Legion size. Legend size, rather. Very tiny, but very, very articulated. Very, very detailed. And he turns into a submarine that can store inside of this front panel. Or cubby, whatever you want to call it. And he's a little Cyclops-looking dude himself. Focus. Um, go check out Vangelis' review of this thing. It's great. Um, he also lets us know if it floats. And I'll give you a hint. Um, this thing is not watertight. But it was really 
amusing video. Go check out Vangelis' reviews. Uh, this thing is really pretty. I don't know if I can recommend it to anybody because it is very expensive. Um, and really what I probably should have done is rather than ordering this, I should have ordered a couple more figures for Hercules so I could have more of them, but oh well. And that is not quite everything I wanted to share. A couple other things really quick. I have several, but not all, of the Women of the DC Universe mini busts. And I got one that I had been looking for for a while. Finally got it at a good price. Presenting Hippolyta as Wonder Woman. I really like the look of this one. Probably pretty apparent why. I think it's a really great looking design, though. I like her costume. She's fairly good looking. Yeah, not much more to say about that. Okay, final thing. This does technically not count as new. I've had this for... Jeez, I don't even know how long. But it's been sitting under this table, and I have never opened it, and I really should because it costs a lot of money, and it's really quite cool. I never played World of Warcraft. I did play Warcraft 3 and the Pandaren Brewmaster character in there. It was pretty enjoyable. So I got this Blizzard.com exclusive Pandaren Brewmaster, Chen Stormstout. And I dug him up so I could put him on display. I don't know where I'll put him because he's huge. Huge, huge. Um, did I show the Transformers on this already? Let's show this one really quick. Because I also got this from Captured Prey. Because they're my favorite online retailer right now. Clear, first edition, Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime, Tokyo Toy Show exclusive, something like that. Another kind of expensive figure, but I really, really love translucent Transformers. And they all seem to be Optimus Prime, at least all the ones I have. Shrink. All right, well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.